welcome back to John R. Prospecting. Today, uh, we have something special going on. Um, so, Bayou Gold Guy and I, uh, we're on the quest. Uh, looking for a half a gram of gold from a certain pater from lynch mining so with that being said uh let's open up these boxes because we're going to be going through a lot of pay dirt so as you could already see two lynch mining original bags as well as two bags of gizmos pater you have one Belmont Mountain Pater. You have two Belmont Mountain Pater, right? So that is two. And in my other box, the Lynch Mining uh, mouse pad, you're gonna see one vulture and two bags of the five pound vulture pater. So yes, we are actually gonna be going through almost 25 pounds of pater but here's the thing. Each and every bag we go through, I'm going to keep the gold separated. And we're going to see if any of these eight bags of pater contain a half a gram of gold. Or around a half a gram of gold. Because I've seen reviews on Lynch Mining's website that people are getting almost a half a gram of gold in either of these bags. Well, here's eight of them. So let's see if we get that half a gram of gold in any of these pater bags. And we shall go from there. So... Let me go get my pan, let me go get everything ready, and we're going to start going through it. Um, so I really don't want to have a really long video. So we are actually going to do... I'm going to probably mark these somehow, uh, whether it's one, two, three, four, and so forth. And then I'm going to put the gold from each bag in one of these little metal cups here, just so we keep all the gold separated. And then when we're done panning all of it, we are gonna weigh the gold separate through each bag of pay dirt, and then go from there and see how much gold we got from each bag. And then we're gonna combine all the gold and have a gold weight on eight bags of pay dirt. So we shall go from there. I guess uh, we shall be right back when I have everything set up. And we'll start panning some pay dirt. So we'll be right back. All right. So as you guys could see, I got my pan. I got the eight metal cups uh so all we got to do is add some jet dry 
in our water so we could pan the material. And I guess what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to say this is bag number one and so forth. So we got bag number one written on here, which is a Lynch Mining Original. So let's actually open it up. It is heat sealed and it broke right along the heat seal. I have to go find something to open up this bag, so we shall be right back. All right, so as you guys could see, we actually got it uh, open here. So now let's actually take some of this material and check out that nice Arizona red material. So uh, Lynch mining's fairly easy. So, um, I am not going to be panning all of this material on camera. I'm just going to maybe open up a bag and say, all right, I'm going through the second bag of original. Um, once I pan all the material, we'll be back to show you the gold that we got from the bag. So, don't want to have a really long video. But, uh, yeah, um, I'll be posting pictures of the reviews that I've seen already. Um, how much gold people are getting and throughout the video. When I actually saw that, I couldn't believe it. That people were getting a half a gram of gold from a 16 or 17 dollar bag from lynch i i don't know that quest is going to go on for a long time i think between value gold guy and i because i would love to get a half a gram of gold in a 17 or 16 dollar bag of pay dirt i'm sure anybody would want a half a gram of gold from one of those bags. So let me actually finish panning out this material from the bag um, and We'll be back when we get done panning the material. So we'll be right back. All right, so as you guys could see, I got the rest of that material all panned out. Here is bag number one's material. And here is bag number one's gold. And that is the gold that we got from bag number one. A lot of fine gold. And there's a couple uh, nice sized pieces in there. Not a whole lot though. Don't think it's the half gram we were looking for. So, I guess now we are going to go on to bag number two. So... I guess for right now, we'll make this bag number two. So we'll write number two on it. All right. So here is bag number two. I'm going to open it up. At least this one's opening, right? Make sure we get it open. Let's go ahead and put some jet dry in our water. And let's pan out bag number two. And again, we'll do about that much. 
Uh, I'm going to pan all this material out and we'll be back when I get done panning the rest of the material and we'll be right back. All right. As you guys could see, I have bag number two material done. I panned all of it out. And let me show you the gold that I got from bag number two. And yes, it is still wet, as you guys could see. So, still wet. Can't really show you much, but it is in there. So that is the gold from bag number two. So now we're going to start off... Uh, or now we're going to go to bag number three. Uh, so let's just continue down the line. So let's write down bag number three. We'll go right there. So as you guys can see, bag number three. Okay. And we are going to open it up. And then we're going to start panning it. I do already have water in my pan here. The only thing I do need is some jet dry again. There we go. Let me move bag number two out of the way. out of the way and like i said here's bag number three and we do see some goodies in there so we are in fact going to pull all those out as well this stuff has a little bit more black sand and i believe there's probably a little bit more material so let's uh finish panning this out and we'll be back and show you the gold. Well, as you guys could see, I got done panning bag number three. Here is the gold that I got from bag number three, as you guys could see. So, I guess uh, we're going to start going through another bag. So, in fact... I was figuring um, I wanted to get one of these five pound bags done. So we are gonna pick a five pound bag to go through. Oh, and by the way, these were the gems that I got from the gizmos from bag number three. As you guys could see, two pieces of amethyst. Oh, sorry about that, you guys couldn't even see it. So these were the amethysts that I got from bag number three. Two pieces of amethyst and five peridots. So we are going to also put this, uh, I guess, with the gold. And at the end, we will show what I get from the other bag as well along with the gold so let me go get everything set up and i should be right back all right so i am back um i grabbed my two tubs that i have here we are going to classify the plus 10 material out of the pay dirt so let's uh i gotta first write number four on here okay so as you guys could see i wrote down bag number four so now let's start classifying this material out
and I'll actually be right back when I get done classifying the rest of the material. All right, so I am back. I just got done classifying the Belma number four bag. So let me show you the material that we'll, we'll be panning. So this is all the material smaller than 10. Um, there's quite a bit. Um, as you can see, it fills up about, I don't know, maybe three quarters of an inch of the tub. And it's probably even all the way across. So it's going to be a lot of material to pan. And here is all of the plus 10 material. And as you guys can see, there really isn't much. I mean... I don't know if I'm going to pan this out. I might just get it wet and splash it around just to see if there's any gold in here. But, I mean, if there's going to be a piece of gold in here, it's going to weigh probably a half a gram. Maybe to at least a tenth of a gram or something. So, there really isn't much material in here that I could pan. But... I guess we'll still pan all this material out, and I guess let me uh, start panning this material, and again, we'll be back when I get done panning all of this material. So, we'll see you back in a couple seconds. Alright, welcome back. After a couple of hours panning and panning and panning, I got bag number four done. So here is the tray with the gold. As you guys could see, there is some gold in there. So uh, hopefully in a couple of days or by tomorrow, this will be dry. So we got... Uh, four bags to go, um, a lot of material in these bags, so I guess, uh, let me clean up everything here from bag number four, and let's start panning another bag. So I'm actually going to go with the vulture bag this time, and we're going to make this bag number five got the marker we're gonna write bag number five as you guys could see we got a vulture bag and it's number five so again like i said let me uh get all this cleaned up and start a new pan and we'll be done we'll come back to you when i get all this material panned out so i can show you the gold so we shall be right back all right so as you guys could see i just got done panning bag number five so let me show you the gold that i got there's some chunkier little bits in there, so just wanted to show you. So let's, uh, oh, there we go. So let's get number five on there as I got it right here. So there's bag number five. So now let's pan through another one so we're gonna finish off the vulture painter and we're gonna make this bag number six so now as you guys can see there's bag number six so let me start cleaning all this up uh, so I could start drying the painter and we'll be back when we get done 
uh, classifying it and panning all this material. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so as you guys could see, I got bags number six done and there's the little bit of gold that we got from the bag. So check it out. So, all right, so we got two bags left. Uh, let me open, start writing number seven on it. So this is our next bag. So let me uh, get everything set up, pan it out, and we'll be right back to show you the results. See you in a little bit. All right, so I just got done panning bag number seven. Uh, I mean, as you guys could see, there is just a ton of material in this pan. I think it took me about four days to go through this bag, but I finally got it done. So let me show you the gold that we got from bag number seven, the second Belmont Mountain Pater. Um, so some of this is actually still gonna be wet because I just got done panning it. But here you go. Look at all that fine gold. I actually thought that the Belmont bag had the chunkier gold in it. Well, according to this, just like the other bag, all fine gold. So, and I will be posting pictures of each bag as well in the video. But look at all that fine gold there. So, really nothing big, mostly small. So I'm gonna go mark that bag number seven. And last but not least, we have our last bag, which is bag number eight, finally to pan out. So let's mark it, bag number eight. So, all right, I'm gonna go mark that bag number seven. You'll see it when we get done panning all that material. This will be uh, bag number eight, the gizmos. So let me go clean all this stuff up, get some fresh water, and we'll be right back when we get done getting all the gold and gems out of this bag. Let's hope we get that half gram. It's our eighth bag that we've gone through. So let's just hope that we get that half gram. So, all right, we shall be right back. All right, so I finally got bag number eight finally panned out. Uh, here are the gems that we got from the last Gizmos number eight bag. Uh, again, we got two amethyst and six pieces of Peridot, and then here's the two amethyst. So, all right, so now let's uh, show you the gold that we got from bag number eight. And there's the gold from bag number eight. A lot of fine gold, again, uh, very shocked about these bags. Um, usually there's a couple of bigger pieces, but in most of these bags, it's all fine gold. So, um, so look, we're going to actually go dry this up. Uh, we're going to go clean all this up. I'm going to go grab my scale and my gold case, and we are going to weigh up all eight of those pay dirt bags separately. And then we are finally going to get our total weight of eight bags. And 
also we are going to see if any of those eight bags of pay dirt that I just went through if any of them has close to a half a gram of gold so we shall be right back in a second with the scale and the gold case all right so as you guys could see i got my scale all eight of those cups with the gold in it and i brought back all eight bags of bader um so bags number seven and eight are still drying um but all the other bags as you could tell they are full of pay dirt. So, all right, the moment of truth. Let's see if any of these are a half a gram of gold. So right here we have bag number one, which was the Lynch Mining Original. So let's turn on the scale. Let's put our tray on there. Let's zero it out. And again, bag number one. Here's the gold, all dried up. So let's weigh it up. Okay, make sure you guys can see the scale. Yep. Okay. And there you go. Zero point two zero zero grams and again there's the gold and that was bag number one and here we got bag number two which was Also, the Lynch Mining Original Bag of Pater. Here's the gold. Got a uh, couple, couple bigger pieces in there, but the rest is all fine gold. So, let's weigh it up. Scale is on zero. There's no more gold in there, which there's no gold. And again, 0 0.200 grams of gold. I think that's the same in both bags. Interesting. So the quest is not looking good for that half gram of gold. That's what I was hoping to get from one of these bags. I mean... Jeez. All right. Here's bag number three. As you could see, there's some gemstones. And there's two amethyst and five peridot. And it's the gizmos, Pater. Again, there's the two amethyst and here is the five pair dots this one's big bigger I should say 
The other two are smaller. All right. And there's the gold from bag number three, the gizmos. Scale is on zero, so let's weigh it up. Hmm. Wow. Oh, geez. Wow. So we got a record. We got 0 0.205 grams. I think this is the best bag so far. Wow. Awesome. There's the little uh, pieces of gold there. Gold back in the cup. Let's go to bag number four. Bag number four was this bag of the Belmont Mountain five pound bag. And again, here's the gold. That's a really nice chunk of gold we're gonna weigh it up separately i got my tweezers here i wanted to make sure they were dry so let's weigh that one piece up we got 0 0.08 0 0.080 grams of gold for that one piece so let's see what the rest of the gold weighs. A lot of fine gold in that bag too. Wow, we got a record, a new record. 0 0.210 grams, all right. We're working our way up to that half gram. We're halfway there with four bags weighed up. Again, there's the gold. Put it back in our cup. Put that back on the scale. Put that back over here. Here's bag number five. Bag number five was this bag here, which is the Vulture, five pound bag. And here is that start of the chunkier gold. Uh, not many pieces, but we shall see what it weighs. Yeah, this is all like bigger gold um, compared to all that fine gold that I got from all the other bags so far. Yee, we're going down. Thought we were going to go back up. Uh, where's it going to hold? Uh, thought we were going to have a, a tie. We are at point or 0 0.200 grams of gold. So we are tied right now, I believe. So yeah, well, we're gonna stick with the 0.2. But here's the gold. As you guys could see, it's bigger pieces, not uh, fine gold so let's put it back in the cup and let's go to bag number six here is bag number six and bag number six was the second uh vulture bag right here with number six on it and again bigger flakes of gold 
no fine gold in this bag either so very nice so let's wait up and see what we get there you go we are at make sure there's no more in there so we are at 0 0.195 grams. Again, we're going lower. But there's the gold. As you guys could see, it's bigger pieces. Not much fine gold at all. Two more bags to go. Let's see if we get that half a gram out of one of these bags. And bag number seven is this bag of Belmont Mountain. As you guys can see, bag number seven. Here is the gold from that bag number seven. This bag was basically all fine gold as you guys can see lots of super fine gold up in that cup but so let's wait up and see what we get takes a lot of this gold to actually move the scale Make sure there's no more in there by hitting it again. Jeez. What are these bags all the way the same? How come I'm not getting a half a gram? Or, you, or more than this? So we got 0 0.200 grams. Again, there's the gold. Put the gold back in here. Now we got one more bag to go, which was bag number eight, which was the last bag of gizmos. And I think I put the gems somewhere. I think they're underneath this, which they are. So that was bag number three, which goes there. Here's the gems that we got from bag number eight. Again, I guess if you want to see it, uh, two amethyst and six pieces of pear dot. And here they are. That's almost like a quartz crystal or an amethyst crystal. Same thing with this one here. Nice big piece of pear dot. So that's the gems from bag number eight. And last but not least there's the gold a lot of fine gold again this does not look like a half a gram of gold to me so let's put it on that scale and find out Moment of truth. I'm 
No. So there you have it. 0 0.205 grams of gold. So none of my bags had a half a gram of gold or 0.3 or 0.4 like the pictures that you guys have been seeing throughout the video. Um, I don't know. I'm really shocked. I guess the quest continues for a half a gram of gold out of one of those four bags of pay dirt that Lynch Mining offers. So let me uh, go take some pictures of this gold separate from all together uh, from each bag. And then we'll take some pictures of the gold all together. And, but before all that, we will come back and weigh up the gold. Uh, so yeah. So we'll be right back. All right, so as you guys could see, I got all those bags uh, with pictures. Um, so now let's weigh all the gold together. Bag number one's gold. Check to make sure there's no more. Nope. Bag number two. Point four. Bag number three. We're at point six. Bag number four. Bag number five. Took five bags to get just over one gram of gold. 1.005 grams. Bag number six. Here's bag number seven. And lastly, bag number eight.
So there we go. We got 1.0630 grams. So as you guys could see, I have my gold case here. So let's open it up. And I actually wrote down already what we're going to say this is called. I have it written down as 2 plus 2 plus 2 and then plus 2 Lynch Mining Small Bags with a blank amount of grams. So we're going to write down 1.630 grams. As you guys could see, that's what I wrote down. 1.630 grams. That's what we got. That's what we wrote down. So now I'm going to go take some pictures of that gold. And then we are going to put it in our... gold jar here so to actually put it in nice amount of lynch mining gold i like seeing uh lynch mining gold it's nice and clean shiny and it's very bright gold so never go wrong with a vial of lynch mining gold so there's our 1.630 grams out of eight bags of pay dirt from Lynch Mining. So, there you go. Number 34 is done and complete. Next one, 35. And then after that, we got 15 more before we... Combine all the gold, I guess. I was actually going to leave it all separate, but I don't know. I'm having second thoughts on it now. So we shall see. Um, but I, get, I just wanted to say again, congratulations to my winners from my 420 subscriber giveaway. Uh, again, We'll be doing it again at 500. Uh, we'll probably do a guess the weight. As I do have two buckets of pater to go through. Just not saying who and what they are. So uh, the one you guys do know. It is the Lynch Mining Nugget Bucket that I won a couple of months ago now. Or two months ago maybe. And I have another bucket of pater to go through. So we shall see. But again, thank you for coming along on this journey for these eight bags of pater. Just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. And hopefully, I'll get a video out for the next couple of days. I still have some mail to go through and maybe it'll be a mail call so i guess until then we shall see you guys on the next one and thank you all for watching and have a good one guys be safe we'll see you on the next one